All right, so I'm in Honduras right now. I don't know, maybe 30 miles in or something like that. Just a quick update on the um, <clears throat> on the border crossing. Sorry, everything's a mess. Yeah. Yeah, so be it. So uh, anyway, leaving El Salvador was pretty straightforward. Uh, you pull up. There's a guy, super friendly guy, spoke some English. He just kind of checks your uh, temporary vehicle import permit. And then he sends you off to down this dirt road, basically. But there's actually a fairly modern building at the end. <clears throat> so you go past a little hut, which is closed, and then there's a modern building. Almost looks like a truck loading station or whatever. Um, and then they cancel your tip there. That's all you really need to do in El Salvador. <clears throat> um, and then you keep going, and uh, I forget some of the details, but it's all very. Streamline might be putting it a little bit, uh, might be a little a bit of a reach, but it's not complicated. Let's put it that way. I forget if they stamped my passport or not, and gave me an export paper. I'm sure they did. Uh, so then on to Honduras, um, and then so they have a fairly modern building there too. Um, you know, so you pull up. Um, they st they check my passport. They wanted to get the number plate off my. Um, off my vehicle and all that so just just to right off the bat I did there was this guy right there waiting you know one of the helpers I was kind of going back and forth whether to use help or not he was friendly obviously <clears throat> but not too but not really pushy um, and his English was decent so I was like okay well um, I did go with him to make copies and all that so I never really left my documents out of sight but in hindsight, after you know, after a little while, I was like, yeah, you know, he's legit. And he had like the, you know, the turquoise shirt and all that. And I don't know if they just print that themselves or not, but it made him look semi-official. And he's been helping other other riders along the way as well. I don't know that you would have needed that. I, I'm guessing it shaved maybe a half hour off my time, and I ended up paying him 20 bucks. He probably probably pre-negotiated for less than that, but I ended up liking the guy, and I actually don't mind putting some money into the economy. Um, muchas gracias. Ah, uh, perfecto. Uh, so I just got my cappuccino here in Honduras. Let's see how that tastes. So anyway, it's just kind of, you know, a lot, a lot of people already described it. You know, you go through your passport. Um, it wasn't really wait anywhere. Um, I did run into Joshua again, who I, uh, who's coming down here to, um, to Costa Rica. He was in front of line of me at the uh, tip place, so we had to wait for him. So that was kind of like that was kind of funny. But the whole thing took less than two hours, maybe. Without you know, had Joshua not been there, um, I don't know. Maybe that added 15 minutes or whatever. But it was fun catching up a little bit. So you know, that's uh, always nice to see fellow travelers on the road. So the large oh, you know, and the other thing is that once I left. There are those two border checkpoints or military, I don't know, police, or but they were kind of sitting out on the tree and they didn't bother to get up. I don't know if that's because I was on a motorcycle, but I had my extra copies of the tip. So, you know, I was ready for them and I had read all these horror stories, but they didn't, they weren't stopping anybody. And so far I haven't come across a full on military checkpoint. I'm, that may still be coming, but those uh, supposedly are kind of run pretty professionally, so I'm not too worried about that. So with that, I'm kind of deciding to, you know, keep pushing for the border right through to Nicaragua um, and uh, try to make it to Managua tonight. Uh, I, I booked a place in uh, <coughs> Costa Rica, so hopefully I can get there by tomorrow and then I'll be there for a couple of days, uh, actually for the whole week, catch up on work. Um, you know, I technically have to be back at work on Monday, so I'll work out nice. And work, you know. Anyway, border crossing wise, you know, Without getting into every little detail, it was fairly painless actually. Uh, it did cost 960 lempiras, but um, well, it cost three dollars for the entry stamp. Um, oh, and they were actually pretty modern. You know, they did the fingerprinting thing, kind of the same thing that you can see on some U.S. borders. You know, did a did a photo, digital picture, um, and uh, it was 960 lempiras for the vehicle import the lempira. Well, I changed in Guatemala actually at the Guatemala place and they gave me 25 for one here the local changers are giving me 24 without negotiating anyway I don't know if you can negotiate I'm sure you can negotiate a little bit um, but uh, so I only had 750 lempiras so I basically ended up paying 750 lempiras I just wanted to get rid of them and then an extra 10 bucks 
to kind of get to the 960. So that was official for the temporary vehicle import permit. Then I gave 20 bucks to uh, Rene Moreno is the guy's name. Um, I'd recommend him. So, you know, I know some people frown on that, but in the end, time is money. He saved me time. He, you know, his buddy watched my bike. I tipped him two bucks. So I was never really worried about my stuff. Um, and um, yeah, so to me it was worth it. And you know, it was good hanging out. He kind of walked me all around so there's no wondering where to go next and any of that stuff. Um, which I'm sure you could have figured out or anybody could have figured out eventually, but it did save me time, I'm sure, with the copies and all that good stuff. So overall, not nearly as bad of an experience as I had worried about. Again, it took me, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes total. And the roads here so far have been great. I have been kind of staying, you know, not driving too crazy so I don't pass on double lines. But I really haven't seen any police pass those initial checkpoints. So anyway, I'm in no rush at this point. So I'm just going to, you know, go flow, you know, pretty much follow the, the rules except for, you know, speed. Nobody follows the speed limits. Um, and then, um, yeah, so, so far so good. We'll see how crossing into Nicaragua goes later on today. All right, talk to you later.